So I got into the line of this work by going through school, um, getting told in school that the only way I can actually get a job is going through the standard lines, you know, and following education really through right through. But because I'm dyslexic, I struggled at school. And I found I was really good working with my hands. Um, so I saw an advert in the newspaper, a place called Kitchens, Alice Kitchens, and they were offering um, an apprentice uh, position um, in woodwind repairs. So I joined the team there. There was 12 repairers in total. Uh, over the period of us actually working there, people were, were laid off. So we ended up with me just doing all the woodwind repairs, doing all the brush repairs, doing the string repairs and delivering balance all at the same time. Um, so my, my job ended up being, you know, varied. Uh, so I'd go in and I didn't really know where or what department I would be working out. I kind of got into this job a bit by accident. I fell into it just after I finished up my music degree. I was looking on the online portal at the university and there was an advert for a job saying that someone needed a trainee repair technician. So I called up the number, I went over and been here ever since. It's basically a case of come take some instruments apart, see if you like it, see how it works. And I just really enjoyed the physical aspect, the working with my hands and getting to see the inner workings of something I've been so connected to, but in such a different way. I love the fact that it's kind of like tinkering and experimenting with things, but in sort of a safe environment. So getting to see the inner working, see behind the curtain. But one of the best things about the job is when you have a little kid who comes in who's just got their instrument and they're so excited to start playing. And then they open up the case and it's all shiny and it's all fixed and they can't wait to get home and practice. That's a really rewarding part of the job is sort of seeing that next generation of musicians getting to kind of pursue their craft and seeing that I've had an instrumental part of that, no pun intended. Um, is actually really nice to see. I enjoy most about my job, the variety, meeting people, w watching people perform on stage after I've uh, worked on instruments. Um, one of my biggest joys is designing instruments, which has managed to lead me to travel the world. Um, I worked in uh, Europe for seven years and I worked in uh, Beijing for two years um, as the chief designer for Geneva Instruments. Um, which makes you get friends all around the world. Uh, I like following people on Facebook uh, where they've come in, I've set their instruments up and then I can see them playing with other members and other bands and, you know, famous musicians, things like that. So I, I really enjoy doing that. Three years ago, I was made a professor at uh, LCM, Leeds College of Music, which is now a conservatoire, uh, which then lead me leads me to being able to do lectures now on the subject of repairing and designing instruments. What I would say to other people is to, as cliche as it might sound, just give it a go. I had absolutely no experience, no qualifications in this field of work when I started, but I was willing to learn and adapt and I'm still here doing it, still learning. Just get stuck in if you think it's something you might enjoy just go for it and see what happens because it might all work out in the end. We're just planning a tour at the moment where we're going to be touring uh, Norway, uh, Europe, uh, UK and then over into America where two of us are going to be demonstrating how we can actually uh, involve people into this job that I've done for 40 years. I've done this job now and every single day is a joy. Um, I've never I would say I've never worked a day in my life, but obviously I have. But it's just it's just joy. Every every instrument we open the case, we just don't know what is the next job we're gonna do. I think if I was to inspire anybody to go into a similar career, it would be follow your dream. You you are capable of achieving anything that you want to achieve, uh, even if you've never never tried it. Just try and find a local shop, find a local repairer. Uh, just say to you, I'm really keen that I want to get into this job um, go along you might have to do a you know a few free trips for them to do it but when you show your passion i think that's all people want to see is the passion that you've got in the job um, and then you can follow that through and make a career out of it um, once you actually make a career out of it and start charging uh, people you know it, it's you're as good as what you are you're as good as the time and effort that you put into it and the skill that you want for it 
you might find you want to go into teaching more um, where you can actually repair as well or you might want to do like cruise ship work where you have to sort of learn if a cork drops off your saxophone or something like that if, if you've got the basic repairing skills then you can actually repair your own instruments you know and keep it going so i think for me if you were to find a similar career it doesn't have to be full-time it could be part-time as long as you enjoy it uh, what you do you just got to live your dream go for it